All right, welcome back to What's New. Right now, it is time to see what's clicking in Cleveland or Stephanie Haney time. That's right? It. I mean, <laughs> Take it this away. is your time of day, 422. Are. That's right. That's when we do it. We talk about the trending stories, Jay and Betsy. Now, this first one, we have to say we're really thinking of the Cleveland Guardians all-star third baseman, Jose Ramirez, today. He has been placed on the bereavement list, and here's why. He's in the Dominican Republic right now after the passing of his grandma. And manager Terry Francona said that she had a big hand in raising him. So as much as the team will miss him, that their thoughts and prayers are with Jose Ramirez. Now, while he's out, the Guardians have called up infielder Brian Rocchio from AAA Columbus. Ramirez isn't expected to come back with the team until they play the Mets in New York, and they'll be there for a three-game series, and that starts on Friday. So, of course, we're thinking of him. All right, switching gears here. I'll put a quick turnaround on claiming the Powerball jackpot for the winning ticket from April 19th that was bought in Macedonia. Remember, you have 180 days to claim a prize, and now less than a month later, this $252.6 million jackpot has been claimed by the Crazy Luck Trust. <laughs> and the attorney, John K. Krajewski, is the trustee, so we do not know the winner. They're keeping it anonymous. Smart folks there. Now, the winner chose the $135 million cash option payout. We'll take home about $100 million after the required taxes are taken out. This is Ohio's fifth largest lottery jackpot ever. Only the fourth Powerball jackpot winner here in Ohio. Last winner won $124 million in July in 2014 in Conneaut. Before that, winners bought tickets in Curtis and Sunbury. Lucky people out there in Macedonia. All right, now to our question of the day. Tonight at 4.30, Mr. Mike Polk Jr. will give his thoughts on what the city should do with the Burke Lakefront Airport as the city's looking into possible development there. So we want you to weigh in on it too. Should something else replace the airport? And if so, what? You can go to our Facebook pages and I'll be back on the other side of the break with some of your results. Jay and Betsy, you know, the What's New Facebook group and the WKYC Facebook page. Everybody has an idea for this. Oh, yes. Lots of variety and the early returns coming in. I can't wait to see Mike's take on it. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Something tells me I'll be laughing. Mm -hmm. Probably. Thanks, Steph. Right, we'll thank see you then. Thank you so much. Sure.